Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a busy few weeks or month or two. But where we're going to start up is on page 78, if you are following along in the book. And we're going to look at functions for replacing, searching, replacing, substituting. And to do that, Grease suggests loading in the library g sub fn. And I'm not sure with everything I have loaded if I need to, but I will do it just in case to make sure. And to start off with, I'm going to set up a text string and put in a couple text strings that have some overlap and some differences. So this is a first example sentence. And I'll separate it. <clears throat> and this is a second example sentence. I always forget the scene that I'm coming back to put them together. So, okay, that should work. Now, the first function that we're going to look at is the string apply. Oops, and to apply that, I put the string, the character string vector first. And then I put the string that I want it to search for. So this will search for every occurrence in each of the strings. So I'm going to start off with one that will have just one occurrence in the first set. And if we look down here, then we can see in the first one, uh, it occurred just once. And in the second one, it's null because there is no occurrence of first. So to compare that with something that will occur several times, I'm going to look at is, is, and I'll point out that this actually occurs a couple times in both of them. So it will return both of those in both of them. So it doesn't tell us where the locations are, just each match <clears throat> that it found. So the function that I'll move on to next is perhaps a little more powerful in that it both finds them and substitutes them. And let me put in the example first and then I'll explain each argument. Okay, so there are four arguments for G sub. The first one is the string that it will search for. The second one is the string that it will replace that with. And the third one is the character vector that it will search in. And there's a fourth that you can leave off as the default for whether it will uh, ignore or consider the case. So. Let's see. I'll go ahead and show what it will be. Uh, as a default, it should be ignore.case is false. So let's run that once. And we can see that it substituted the in for a. Uh. And I'm pretty sure it just displays it, but it doesn't actually replace it. Yeah, so when we go to text, the original is still there. In this one, there actually were no uppercase, so it didn't actually matter. So we could leave off that ignore case in any case. Oh, uh, one more thing to point out is that because it replaced all the A with no exceptions, it even replaced the A that was within words, which you probably actually won't want to do uh, very often, at least when you're working with texts. And so one way to avoid that, I'll copy this one, is to put a space before and after that. And so then you're looking at the A that are just words, and then you're replacing with the and keeping the spaces. This obviously won't work for beginning or end of sentences, but we'll work with those uh, with wild cards and other ways to get matches later on. But let's just look at how this will work since they are all mid-sentences. 
mid-sentence, so here replace it with the. Example is still good, the, and so on. So again, this dis just displayed it to the screen. If we wanted to save it, which maybe we will, let's go ahead and put that into text.2. And now we have both versions if we want it. So we'll come back to GSUB in just a minute, and we're going to work with some wildcards and placeholders using grip or a search, it appears to be a search function for regular expressions. And I'll type this in first and then come back and explain each part. Some will be, oops, obvious. Okay, so as we're searching here, the caret appears to be the beginning of the character string. So where T, right before the T is the beginning of the character string, it's looking in this vector of characters, character strings. We're going to ignore case because it's true, which is not the, oh, that is the default. Somehow I put false up here and it didn't matter. But ignoring the case is the default. Uh, Greece recommended that to make it a little bit more universally usable to always use Perl equals true. So as I'm doing it here, that's what I will do. And then value equals true will return the string rather than returning the location, which I want to be able to see the string. We could try both, which maybe I'll do. So we are getting where this is at the beginning, or the T is at the beginning, whereas in the second one, the T is not at the beginning. Just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to turn the value on false, and we should get that the location is 1. And there we have it. So the next wild card that I'll look at is I'm going to copy again or paste this is the dot or the period. So this will let uh, us find anything with an S followed by a character. Um, or followed by the character C. So I think it's anything but a new line. So let's see what this would find. I feel like I need to review. So find all occurrences of S that are followed by one other character and then a C. S, one other character, and then a C. I don't see any. Am I missing it? This is a second example sentence. Oh, the second is our S followed by our character and then a C, of course. Okay. So the next one is allow for any number of intervening characters. I think it's any number. Three dots ellipses so this one only finds our first example f dot 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 t and the next one this is the escape character which I'm still finding a little bit different and I think it's because each program treats a little bit differently so let's use in character to see how the backslash, and if you do two of them, how, how many characters it is. So it's the number of characters. And it shows it like it's just one character. If we print this to the screen, it prints just one character. So if we want to print or substitute any of these special characters, the dot, the caret, even this one, then we need to use this escape character. 
So we'll use a G sub. So now we're going to be substituting the period. So we're, we're saying don't treat it as uh, an, a, a, let's see. So we're saying don't treat it as this kind of period where you find anything. And let's say we want to replace it with an exclamation in this text, and we're going to say Perl is true. So what we would expect this to do is within, I'm going to print out text so we have it easy to see. The only periods are at the end, so we would expect it to replace that with excl exclamations. And it did, so this is good. So we had to use two backslashes, it treated it as one, and it treated it as an escape character. So to illustrate why I'm finding this a little difficult to, I don't know, manage or understand, let me show you what happens if I say replace the period with well okay so what if i said with a backslash would it has it turned it all green so it doesn't let me put a third one in because it's like it seems like it's treating it like another escape character um, but if i put in two then in my mind it would replace it with one because it treats it as one but actually it doesn't it just removes it so it replaces it with nothing i'm not sure why it does that so if you know why then comment let me know let us know in the meantime we let's look at one more useful search example and that's with the uh question mark so we'll look at it as color, something that has different spellings. So we'll create a character vector that has the two different spellings that I know that I could encounter. I'll put that in there. And then I'll say, I want to search. So I'm not replacing anything right now. I'm just searching. with a U question mark to say it could have that U or it could not have that U in the character string colors. And then I'll do Perl is true. And I want to return the value so I can see it. And it returns both of them. So if I wanted to replace and have them all standardized spelling, then I could do that. But for right now, I'll leave it right there.